there's just something about journaling and your mental health especially when it pertains to anxiety and handling of pressure so before i dive deep i'll first define what journaling is because i'll be writing on that throughout this video hi i'm techie pharmacist and you're welcome to my youtube channel so there are so many definitions to journaling it simply means writing your thoughts and your feelings out so that you can understand them more clearly a research was done to be able to understand the relationship between journaling mental distress and the overall well-being of a group of patients and the results showed that journaling led to decreased mental distress and, and improved well-being of the people involved so let's take it back home have you ever been in a situation whereby you feel so overwhelmed like there are so many deadlines so many things you need to do you've not started doing them and you're just like oh my god where do i start everything is overwhelming and all of that and then you just write it down like you just write down the things you need to do or the things that are bothering you when you're done writing them down you realize that so all the things bothering me is not more than this like it's not more than this right and interestingly you would realize that by the time you are writing those things down or even after you have written them down ideas on what to do begin to come to you if you can relate let me know in the comment section because me i can relate very very well i've been in that situation a lot of times and that's what journaling does for you it helps you to reduce stress because now you can pinpoint what the problem is and you can begin to identify solutions that you can give those problems it also helps you to set goals such that you can be able to break down big goals into smaller bits that you can track very important so you can just you know create a checklist where you can tick and tick and tick oh i've done this i've done that and then you can celebrate your small win and the positive side to that is that it improves the mood at the end of the day yeah. so that being said i'll be sharing some of the tools i use to journal that can you can also try out to help you to reduce stress and anxiety and pressure so number one on the list is the notepad that comes with the phone quite a number of notepad you know comes with features whereby you can obviously write you can you know divide your writings into headings sub headings body of text you can put it into a table you can put some of your goals or achievements or the things you want to track into a table or a form of checklist such that you can be able to tick the ones that you have done and they move down the list you can also include images if there are pictures you want to add you know for example like vision board you can include vision board in that kind of notepad that helps you to put all your things in one place another app i usually use is the google keep google keep you can do check boxes in Google Keep. You can collaborate with Google Keep. You can also, um, you know, arrange your text into titles, sub headings, body in Google Keep as well. And for some of you that also like, you know, when your journal is aesthetically pleasing, Google Keep also allows you to change the color of the background or to change the background to something that you may like. Another tool is the journal app. So um, some phones, specifically the iphones come with journal app i think it comes with the ios 70 so you might need to update your phone to get that feature the journal app on the iphone you can use the voice feature so if you don't feel like typing you can always use the voice feature um you can oh, it also gives you suggestions you can also include images like your vision board into um that app as well enjoy the feature and then explore the app and one key thing that i love about digital journaling is that everything i put in my journal they are saved to the cloud when i change my phone i can always retrieve them which is always good because sometimes you want to keep these memories so that you can always come back to them if you use digital journals in addition to your ad copy journals let me know the tools you use in the comment section and I would also love to hear your journaling stories. How has journaling helped you in your journey of relieving mental distress and also reducing anxiety? I'm so eager to read your comments in the comment section. You can check this video here where I shared a free tool that you can use to track your menstrual health. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to share this video. See you in the next one.
Bye.